Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Let's draw the electron dot structure for cyclohexane. It's cyclo. So there are six uh, uh, carbon. C6H2L is my uh, formula of cyclohexane. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six carbons, 12 hydrogens. Let me draw two with each. Correct. Two with each I am drawing. Correct. All hydrogen has one term. So let me draw one electron. Carbon has four. So let me draw four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four. Sky one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See the way I'm drawing is I'm drawing in such a way that this is needed to hydrogen and I can join these. So the next is I have to join carbon hydrogen bonds. These bonds let me join. This is done. Correct. Now if you see, I can join these to carbon. I can join these to carbon. I can join these guys. So now if you see I got the structure. And now you see any carbon it has 8 now. This carbon had 4, got 2, two from sharing with the hydrogen, 2 plus 4 is 6, 1 with this carbon, 1 from this carbon, 6 plus 2 is 8. So any carbon if you take, this guy if you take, it had 4, it got 2 from hydrogen, 6 plus 4 plus 6, and 1 it got from this carbon, 1 from this carbon. So each and every carbon has 8 things, so 8 electrons, they all saturated, they all happy, and thus this compound is Let's do the same thing for benzene. Benzene has this formula C6H6. So let's do this. 6 carbon. Okay. And uh, hydrogen, 6 hydrogen. So I'll put 1 here to each other. Correct, and then I'll put one for all hydrogens. Carbon, I have three, one, four here, four here, four here, four, four carbon. Now, correct. Let's join the carbon hydrogen. Okay. Now, let's uh, draw these guys. These guys, these guys. You can draw this guy also. You can draw this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now, still, if you see so many free electrons, right? So let me join this guy. Let me join this guy and this guy. This is my electron structure. So if you see any, any, you see they has double bond in this. And this is my steel bench. Now some of you can ask, why I am drawing in this fashion? Why can't I draw a straight benzene? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? And I can add some hydrogen here, 6 hydrogens. And then I can add this uh, triple bonds. Correct? That's a doable option. Why should I do this? Because that's a possible thing. I can do, uh, I can create a straight chain also for C6S6. I can create a straight chain also. In fact, 
that was the assumption see nobody knew the structure of benzene earlier scientists used to assume that benzene is of this fashion straight chain only benzene was supposed to be aliphatic and they should draw a figure like this but they are not convinced why because if you draw like this it will have triple bonds right it will have triple bonds it will have maybe triple bonds like this it will have a double bond also it will have something like this let me show you so this guy is one one two three this guy is one two three four this guy is one two three four. yeah this is the structure if you see right one two three six hydrogen atoms this is also c6 earlier they used to assume this is the structure but it doesn't match the property because as i told that this is alkyne and it's highly reactive but they found that benzene is not reactive they were a little confused why it is happening generally all the alkynes are non-reactive why this guy is not reactive right then this one scientist saw in the dream that maybe the benzene is uh, structured in this fashion and then he proposed this model that benzene is structured in this fashion and this explained why benzene is not reactive correct and then finally uh, when the chemistry explored the science uh, evolved and uh, they got better like, instruments then, then they actually saw that structure of benzene looks like this correct so there's a whole story involved in this right so with the C6X case you can form a formula like this also but this is not correct for benzene because for benzene when we saw actually using uh, instruments the scientists saw that the formula looks like this and that's the reason we will study um, or a topic called uh, isomers in uh, hydrocarbons where with the same structure the, the same formula it has different structures so we'll study that so just understand in this case don't confuse don't come to me and say that why can't we write benzene like, like this we can't write like this because it does not like this it is based on the observation they found that benzene looks like this correct so it may be some other component, it is S6 only, but this is not benzene, benzene is this guy only, correct? It, it may be, there may be a compound called C6S6, whose name we'll find out in the next few slides, but which will not be benzene, it should be C6S6, but not benzene. So let's draw the same thing for cyclopentene. So cyclopentene, the formula is C5S10. Here also I can write the straight one also, aliphatic chain, but that's not the one looking for it's cyclo, that means the cyclic, cyclic is there. So I have one, two, three, four, five carbon, ten hydrogen, so I'll put two with each. Right, and two with two with each. Then I have uh, this uh, hydrogen atoms. Each will have one. Then I have carbon, each will have four. Okay, now we'll join carbon and hydrogen bond. So once we are done with this carbon hydrogen bond, this is my carbon hydrogen bond. I have done with. Now I'll join carbon carbon bonds. And this is what I get. You see, all the items are all the carbon has now eight shared electrons. This is the structure of my cyclopate. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.